<clears throat> hey guys, thanks for tuning back into Working Class Outdoors. I'm going to keep this short and sweet. We got a crazy video here of an unbelievable recovery of an awesome buck shot by junior team member Gannon Pope. Um, his dad gets a little long-winded, and but I had to leave most of it in there just to tell the story. It's just a, it's amazing, crazy how it all happened and how it all played out. Um, if you want to hear the whole story, listen to Jay. He's going to tell the story. If not, you can skip to the end and see the awesome buck, guys. Anyway, guys, um, we, we're glad you tuned in. We appreciate you. Um, if you like the video, thumbs up, comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And remember, we're working for a living and living for the outdoors. And as always, thanks for watching. We appreciate you guys. All right, guys, it's Saturday morning, December 9th. Uh, it's about 8.30. We ain't been to the tree yet, but that's okay because my man here shot Big Steven yesterday evening. Here's a trail camera picture of him. Asked him at 5.19. That's about 30 seconds before my man put the shot on him. So what happened was we were sitting in the saddle box, and um, a deer came out to the top of the hill, I just happened to look. There's a deer standing right there. Put up my binoculars. I saw his rack. So he came down to the corn, and uh, he was quartering two Gannon. But in my, I guess, excitement, I said, put it on the point of his shoulder and squeeze the trigger. We well, did. And I couldn't see the deer because the way the trees are. When he shot, and he immediately ran back to his right, to our left. And I followed him for... 50 yards or so, and I lost him. He went over a hill or under a hill. You know, he got where I couldn't see him. So Ravon was nice enough to come down last night. Um, we walked back in there about an hour after dark and um, couldn't find any blood. Um, the way he was shooting the deer, the bullet could have gone through his body from his front, you know, shoulder to his rear ham. So he might, might not have got an exit. And when that happens, a lot of times they don't bleed. So I got a lot of confidence in this young man's shooting ability. So I asked him about the shot. He said, I feel good. He squeezed the trigger. He didn't jerk it. Had the crosshairs on his shoulder. So I, I feel like the deer's dead. I really do. But, um, you know, with me, me, him, and Ravon walked around with lights last night for about 30 minutes. We didn't find him within a couple hundred yards of the stand. We just kind of walking around looking in the dark uh, it was cold last night you know got down to freezing so meat's gonna be fine you know it's just a matter of us finding him and hoping the coyotes didn't find him first we just crossed our fingers said a prayer this morning hoping you know the good lord helps us um locate this deer we got the rest of the day to find him we're gonna find this deer g-man named him big steven here's why i'm getting sidetracked but I'm, i'll try to make it quick when i first got this picture of this deer last week and he's a new deer i said that's a big eight we'll, we'll, you know we'll name him big eight pretty simple so me and Gannon were looking at the trail camera pictures yesterday afternoon in my office and um I made a comment to him I said you know that deer is he is a perfect eight you want to call him Mr. Perfect he said no nah, I don't like that I said okay how about even Steven because you know he's even on both sides even Steven he's like no nah. he said let me think about it so we were sitting we were we were driving out there yesterday to go hunting he said I think I know what to call the deer oh you do what you can call it he said, Big Steven. I said, hey, Big Steven it is. So we got him named, right? G-Man's name. So we're going to go in here and um, get us some grub. Let you guys see where we are. Make y'all jealous. That's right. We at the Waffle House, baby. Mm -hmm. Go and get us some grub and we'll go out to Garantown and find this deer.
we're here. We're going to try to stay positive throughout this, whether we find him or not, right? So you want to say a little prayer for us? I hope so we find him. You say a little prayer. You do it. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day. Thank you for this wonderful snow. Thank you for the rain to help us to not get in a drought. And thank you for the chance for me to shoot at this wonderful buck. Thank you for the chance for us to even see him. You are a good Lord. You are a great Lord. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. I heard most of it. <laughs> Let's go get him. That's all I got to say. All right, it is 12 noon. We have come out of the woods um, without a deer. One of two things happened. He either hit him again and hit the deer, and he ran off and died, and we just found him. Or Gannon hit him, he injured him, but didn't kill him. Or, of course, Gannon missed him. I'm thinking it's number two. He was according to him. I should have been more patient and said, let him get broadside. Another lesson learned. Nobody's perfect, right? Everybody misses. Anybody tell you they ain't missed? They either ain't hunted enough or they're lying. So hopefully, you know, the deer was injured, but he's going to recover. And we'll get some trail camera pictures of him over the next three weeks while we're hunting and know that we got a chance and maybe get another chance or he dies and we see some buzzards you know flying and we go check and we find his skull so i mean if one of those two things happened that'd be just perfect wouldn't it ravon i thought about ending it with the little tagline so we're going take two take three appreciate it take four <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna head over there and get some. No, not over there. <laughs> I did over there again. <laughs> and take five. You wanna do it? No, he. <laughs> okay. All right, so we're gonna head and get some corn, and we're gonna go put it out at the G-Man ladder where me and Riley gonna hunt this evening, and hopefully want to come out so she can shoot it because she's wanting to shoot something, anything, don't mind her. So I just wanna. Thank y'all guys for watching. And if you like the video, subscribe below. Hit that like button. Comment below. And all punch, that good stuff. Punch the like button in the face. <laughs> yeah, do that too. And remember, we work for a living. We're living for the outdoors. Y'all be good. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We just finished that video, right? Come here, get on here, G. Oh my gosh. All right. We just finished that video and drove off. Turn right going to Dollar General to get us some drinks and some corn to put out at G-Men Ladder. Like I said, I won't lie, I'm serious. I'd gone about 200 yards and I slammed on brakes and I looked, I said, there he is, Gannon. I was joking. And Gannon said, I hate you. He was half laughing, but it, w it wasn't funny to him, obviously. So we continue on down the road. We go another half a mile, half a mile, and I'm always looking. Rayvon, you know, I'm always looking for deer. What do I see on the edge of the woods right on the right of way? Right over here. What do you think's laying there? Well, let's go see. Get your orange hat on. Huh? Get your orange hat on. You ain't gonna believe this. What's that look like? That look like a deer's belly. Hold them horns up, Gannon. Yes, sir, that's him. Hold that. Hold his horns up. <laughs> Stiff as a board. Oh, God. Come on, pick him up. Show me some power. Drag him out here. There you go, come on. Oh, Jesus Christ, I wanna thank you. I wanna thank you from the bottom of my heart. Yes, sir. That's exactly what I told you to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think that I missed. I was getting in the truck. Let me get some pictures. Of Guys, I'm not kidding. I was sitting in the truck while Daddy was going this to. This is an almost unbelievable story. Yeah. Big Steven. He's going on the wall, my guy. I was almost. <laughs> I promised you. I was almost. When I slammed on the brakes. Zoom in on him. 
I slammed on the brakes and the half ten slid to the front of the truck. <laughs> Holy smoly. Holy crap, you guys would not believe how cold it is out here. I tell you, we are blessed. Yes, yes, we are. Hemi's right, and I pull him in the truck. Come on, son. You got it. Pull him to the truck. Come on. Pull him three more feet. He's got bladed G2s. <laughs> Get him. He is stiff as a board. Oh, man. <laughs> I cannot explain what I'm feeling right now. I'm half shaking because I'm freezing. I'm half shaking because I'm so excited. Oh, Gannon, you are a blessed little boy. Yeah. I'm telling you, son. We should not have found this deer. We shouldn't have. But we did. Unbelievable. I cannot wait to take a picture of this deer and send it to Rayvon. He's not going to believe it. He's not going to believe it. I don't believe it. This is the craziest story of a kill that I've ever been a part of. And I've been a part of some crazy ones. That deer and I was shot. I got two shots at him. That was a crazy kill. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Woo! Hot almighty. I mean... God almighty, I mean, unbelievable. Oh my goodness. I mean, oh, again, shoot. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. Let's get in the truck, let's call Rayvon. Let me get some pictures. Let's see, where can we get pictures at to make this good? 